I mean, I like my cricket. I'm not massively immersed in it. But yesterday, even I could thrill at what an incredible performance that was from the England team. What did you make of it? Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, this England team, um, they're finally playing, you know, to their potential, you know, during, during this World Cup. I think the biggest game for them was against India at Edgebaston. You know, and they knew the, the dimensions of the pitch really well. So, they're so, so was that sorry, sorry, Kate. Okay. Okay. Particularly because they played in the same ground. Ah. So Edgebaston as a ground against India was going to be harder because the wicket suited spinners and the Australian bowling attack isn't as dynamic when it comes to spin bowling. Yeah, right? like Nathan Lyon is probably easier to face than the likes of um, you know the wrist spin of, of Indian spinners. Okay. And also there was a short boundary which um, you know each pitch has its own factors, permutations and. Edge Baston, you know, it's, it's a good place for England. The only way I think New Zealand will win this if they take early wickets like they did against India, um, which was the you know, second mm -hmm. day when they mm -hmm. played in the reserve day. Um, they took early wickets. They took, I think India were, you know, three for five. And um, that really put a lot of pressure. And that's the only way. And it, I can't see that really happening because I think the easiest final for England is New Zealand, and they should comfortably win the final. Although, like us, uh, like England, they have never won it, so they want it just as badly. And there was a point about a week ago when everyone was saying England could go out, they can't do this. So people were very, very negative about it, weren't they? What was the turning point? Was it that match with India and the confidence boost, do you think? Yeah, I, I think the biggest turning point was against uh, India. India was always going to be the big pressurised game if they... You know, lost against India, that was it. You know, I think the World Cup was over for them. And they, they seemed to play very well under them, you know, really intense, you know, con, um, pressurised, you know, match, which was, I, think, I thought, effectively was their final. England against India was that final. This is going to be easy pickings. They should win the final. I'm just worried we're all jinxing it. There's been yes. lots of talk in the various papers about sort of resonance with the winning of the World Cup in football in 1966. Joe Root was 66 on his back. This is our moment. This is our dream. Will we, will we be able to survive that kind of feeling of hope and excitement? Well, the, it the feels like you then we capitulate, the hosts, don't you? And we were the favourites coming into this as well, Monty. There was a dip in form yeah. and then they've been winning games on the trot now. And yesterday was from my perspective, the most compelling victory yet. Against the Australians, you're always scared, no matter how much. And also, we chased them down, too. Our bowling was great, but, you know, and we've been, we've been sticky on that as well, haven't we? Sort of batting second hasn't necessarily played into our hands brilliantly this time in this World Cup. Yeah, I know we've got all these, you know, factors, but New Zealand, come on, let's be honest, then, uh, you know, they've exceeded their expectations. Even Kane Williamson, you know, felt that 240 was was a target against India. Was they thought you know they're going to get knocked out. So for them to come to the final, it's just going to be a a, a, day, a nice day out for them. But England should yeah, I'll be honest. England should win that. Last time when New Zealand were in the final uh, in Australia 2015, Australia beat them easily. You know New Zealand don't cope with big big days pressure very well. See, it's well. funny you say that because New Zealand in sport, traditionally, I mean, think about their rugby team, mm. they cope impeccably mm. with the pressure on the day. Maybe the fact that they're going into this not being favourites will serve them well. You know, the English oh have all the God. expectations. You see, you've... You know, I'm just, I, can't, I love Monty's positivity. I'm excited that you're so confident. It makes me nervous, though, Monty, yeah. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah. well, well, no, look, I, I feel England, you know, probably will win this, you know, World Cup comfortably. And Monday morning, you know, we'll have the England team here. Yeah. All of us in celebrating. Glory, celebrating. Yeah, and, and now I'm going to start the campaign. Fantastic. Sir love Owen that. Morgan. Sir Owen Morgan. It's got a good right, ring to Monday, it, hasn't it? Yep. We're going to Night them all if we do it. Yeah. <laughs> do you mean? Uh, right, good stuff. Monty, thank Russell you very much for Sir joining Morgan us. Morgan has a good ring to I'm it. Ho I'm hoping <laughs> that I will be as positive as Monty come Sunday um, morning. I'm not sure I will be. I'll still be sitting there. Uh, uh, nervous. Very, very nervous as uh, that, sort of that first ball's bowl. England and... women have won the World Cup, haven't they? Yes. We keep saying England have it. It's just the men. Yeah. And then, of course, the Ashes start about a week we'll and a half later out. as well. Um, should we bat first or bowl first on Sunday? I, I, I looked at the weather. There's a slight, you know, overcast, I think, conditions. It's going to be about 20, 21 degrees, not much sunshine. Mm. Depending on the weather, if it's slightly overcast, they should look to bowl first and then just, you know, blow away the top, top order. Smash them out. I've yeah. taken some notes. I'll pass it on. <laughs> there you go. Um, Lovely to see you, Monty. Thanks for coming in.